people look at triggers as such a negative thing. And to be honest, whenever I've been triggered, I look at that as a blessing and an opportunity for me to have a look what's still within, what shadow is still within that still needs to be healed. Okay? So when you find yourself being triggered, say you're driving, you get pulled over by the police, the police pulls you over just to do a license check, for example, and you find yourself getting really, really triggered. Have a look. Why are you getting triggered? First, mostly because you probably already know that, you know, the justice system is pretty corrupt. Okay? Maybe the justice system let you down. Okay? And that was the case for me. The justice system let me down for, you know, what had happened to my son in the past, you see? And I fought that justice system. So whenever there was an interaction with me and police, I would get highly triggered and taken straight back to the lack of justice, okay? So I'd find myself getting really, really triggered. The anger would come up and then underneath that anger would be that deep sorrow, that deep sadness because my son deserved justice. And here I am fighting all these politicians trying to get justice and to the point I realised actually, you know what? The matrix is crumbling anyway as we speak and justice will be restored on planet Earth. But the real justice, my friends, is karma. So firstly, know that in the back of your mind when it comes to any form of injustice, okay, where it triggers you, remember that, okay, karma is karma. You cannot run from karma. We're creating our own karma. Every moment of every day, we create our own karma. You put good out, you're going to receive good back. You put not good out, you're going to receive the energy back. Everything is energy. Everything is energy exchange. Okay. Now back to the triggers. So, and this is where you, you find the opportunity to go. These triggers are opportunities for you to go inwardly. Okay. I still need to heal this part of me. So in that scenario there for me, I still had residual stuff there that I needed to heal. Okay. I got really worked up. I got really triggered. And then later on when the anger subsided, I felt so emotional. I felt so sad and I cried. And I was grieving. I was grieving my son. And I was feeling all this old emotion come back up. But I knew. I was so grateful. And I knew that this event was occurring for me. And I don't need to play victim. We don't need to play victim when we're being triggered. See every trigger, no matter what it is. No matter what it is, see every trigger as an opportunity for you to heal. Take the trigger and run with it. See the trigger as like a torch. Light coming in and illuminating the shadow. Okay? Look at the triggers that way. And then go and, and heal that part of you. And it doesn't need to be complicated. Maybe healing that part of you is just a perspective shift. For example, how I told you with the justice system. A perspective shift. And allowing yourself to cry and release and get the emotions out. Or release the anger. However, you release anger in a healthy way for you. Whether it be out on the boxing bag. Because, you know, that's how I find a good way. Okay, that's worked for me in the past. I get out in the boxing bag or go for a good power walk. You know, or go and scream it out or write it out. However, you can release that energy. But you don't want to block the energy. So when you find yourself getting triggered, you don't want to block it. You want to remember that this trigger is here to help you heal. And people are going to trigger you and test you all the time. But look at all these triggers as opportunities to heal. Because you choose ascension, okay? It's cultivating your heart center, okay? It's merging more with your spirit, your higher self, because you're not that ego, you're not the mind, you're not the thoughts, you're none of that. That's the illusion that keeps you stuck in the matrix timeline. That's the fear illusion. That's the old earth illusion. So work with the triggers. When the triggers come in, look at the triggers as an opportunity for you to heal. Okay, and maybe you need to spend a whole day crying and purging and getting it out. That's you healing. That's not you going backwards. That's you honouring yourself and honouring your process. Because what a lot of people do is they get triggered. They don't like the discomfort. Okay, then they'll go and drink it up. Or they'll go smoke it up. And yeah, I used to do that. I went through a stage where I started self-medicating again. I was having marijuana. I got. I went through that stage where... I was doing so much deep healing things and people were triggering me all around on certain events in the past and I thought, I, had, I thought I'd cleared this out. I thought I'd heal these parts of me. And you may feel that way, okay, that you've healed this part of you. But still, sometimes there's residual. There's still some residual there. There's layers because when we heal, we heal in layers. 
So look at yourself like an onion, okay? Layers, we heal in layers. The universe is always working for you. And we don't need to walk around and be a victim because this is happening now to me. Oh, this person's being nasty to me. This person's triggering me. Okay, it's all happening for you. So you can slide out of victim mentality. And you can thank the universe for every single moment that you're getting triggered. And you're around people, if you're living with people, for example, who are triggering you every day, go in deep. Why is that person triggering you? Is that person disrespecting you? That person used to disrespect you maybe in your childhood? That person has been disrespecting you for years, constantly treating you a certain way. You're getting triggered, you're getting triggered. Okay, work with the trigger. Maybe it's time for you to get out of that relationship. Maybe it's time for you to walk away, finally, for once and for all. Yeah, work with the triggers. Triggers are opportunities to heal, to grow, to flourish. Because like I said, you're going to prosper. That's all. One love.